In this video, we're going to be checking out all of your theories about the Dream SMP storyline. Things such as Wilbur joining the Syndicate and Wilbur and Quackity going into the prison to get the revival book information will be featured in this video. Now before we get into it, please make sure you are subscribed to the channel. We're trying to get 300,000 subscribers and I literally can't do that if you don't subscribe. So, you know, subscribe? With that being said, enjoy the rest of the video. Now recently, the main thing that has happened on the Dream SMP is Wilbur's revival. You've probably already heard about it or you know everything that happened, so I'm not going to get into detail with it. But because of his revival, it brought up a lot of theories and things that may happen because of his revival. Things such as him joining the Syndicate and many more things have started to become a good viable option. We know that he has a big plan that's going to be happening and we can only just assume that it's going to be something to do with Dream and getting him out of the prison. So as usual, I asked all of you for your theories on what you may think will happen in the storyline. And this is what you all said. The reason that Quackity hasn't been in the recent tales is because Carl is forgetting him and no longer sees him in the people he meets on his journeys. Now this obviously relating back to Cole actually having memory loss from his travels and his time travels and everything like that and well as viable as this theory sounds I actually don't think it's the case. In the tales from the SMP a lot of the characters are different characters so you see Rambu maybe doing a different character to actual Rambu. So Quackity in every tales from the SMP is playing a completely different character to his main character in his lore. So as much as this may be a true kind of thing and we know this happened because Carl didn't tell Quackity about Kanoko Kingdom and other things like that, I don't actually think this is the full case because they're different characters in these tales from the SMP. Next one we have is Wilbur becomes a member of the Syndicate. Wilbur, Techno and Phil and the rest of the Syndicate will help Dream out of prison by taking one of Sam's lives. And well, I think this is probably one of the ones that will definitely happen. We know that Wilbur wants to get Dream out of prison because he doesn't see Dream as the bad guy, unlike everybody else on the server. And obviously Dream and Techno have a favour together. And Dream is going to use his favour with Technoblade to get himself out of the prison. Now a lot of you may mention that Phil has nothing to do with this, but I always see Phil and Techno working together, and if Techno is going to do something, he's going to inform Phil, and if Phil doesn't like the idea, then Technoblade won't do it, and if Technoblade doesn't like the idea, it's vice versa. So I do see these three definitely having a plan to get Dream out of the prison, but for the rest of the Syndicate, I'm not too sure. Because in the Syndicate there is Nikki and Rambu, and Rambu definitely does not like Dream, so this might be an opportunity to take out Dream, and I don't think Nikki likes Dream either. But this is a very good theory and I think it's one of the most viable ones that will happen. Theory, everything goes down. Rambu will nuke the egg while everyone is distracted. Wilbur and Technoblade will break Dream out of prison. The egg pie turns back to normal and there is the final battle. And as much as I like this theory, I have a feeling that the kind of Dream prison stuff is a bit separated from the egg pie stuff. And I don't really see them two storylines merging into one where everything goes down in one stream. So yes, Rambu could nuke the egg and Wilbur and Technoblade could break break Dream out of prison, but I feel like they'd have to happen at different times. Tommy will become the next Dream. He will get so caught up in himself, he becomes his own enemy. Either that or Dream turns good and Tommy continues the legacy, Slash takes up the mantle of Dream. And yeah, I can definitely see this happening. We've always seen Dream as the real bad guy of the whole storyline, but what happens if it's just Tommy? A lot of his plans and like things that he wants to do are very selfish if you think about it. The whole disc storyline was so that he could get his discs and people died for that whole plan and it was only going to help Tommy and nobody else. So maybe after all, Dream is the good guy because we don't really get to see Dream's perspective on things. We always see Tommy's perspective and just assume that this is the right one because we're watching it so often. But maybe when we get to see Dream's perspective, we can kind of understand why he's doing certain things and how he might actually be the better guy out of the two. Quackity and Dream made a deal. Quackity got the info from the revival book and Dream got a favour for him. Dream wouldn't give the info even if he was tortured. As we know, Quackity he went to the prison every day for a month, torturing Dream until he would give up the information. We haven't currently seen whether the information got given to Quackity as I assume he's working on that stream for another day, but we're going to have to assume that Quackity somehow got the revival book information when that stream happens, and whether that is because they made a deal or Dream got tortured so much, who knows? I can definitely see Quackity and Dream making a deal so he can get the information back because I don't really think Quackity cares too much. What I mean by that is he only cares about getting the information and nothing else. So doing a deal where Dream can either get out of prison or have a favour definitely seems like a viable option. Wilbur basically is telling Tommy he's gonna be evil and do bad things, but he's telling Rambu the exact opposite so that Tommy looks paranoid and untrustworthy, so that everyone will turn away from Tommy and Tommy will have to rely on Wilbur again. And yeah, I do see this happening because Wilbur does need like a sidekick or like somebody to help him with all of his plans. And we've already seen that Tommy goes out and gets stone and things for Wilbur, so Wilbur making Tommy 
seem like he has no other friends other than Wilbur is definitely a viable option. And then we'll see Tommy go down this whole path where he has to rely on Wilbur because he has no one else to rely on, and he doesn't trust anybody other than Wilbur. What if Wilbur now and Ghostbur eventually merge somehow to become Wilbur before he went insane? And I like this idea, but what I think would happen is if Wilbur and Ghostbur merge into one, maybe we see some like evil sides of Wilbur and some good sides from Ghostbur, where halfway through a stream or halfway through an event, you'll see Wilbur just suddenly change and he'll act all nice and won't want to do these evil things. But then he'll swap again and turn into evil Wilbur and want to do all the bad things. I can definitely see that happening and I think that would be a cool thing to add to his character. But that's all the theories we're going to be checking out today. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you are new and go check out the video which is on screen.